Okay, we just kicked off AI world. Um, why was it so important to dedicate the stage to AI right now? Yeah, that's a great question. Uh, you know, we've been through so many generations of technology, uh, you know, client server to internet to, to cloud and now AI. And if you think about the uptake of those previous generations, and you think about the speed at which it, you know, it's, it took people to get to, to an outcome, uh, AI is at uh, breakthrough speed. It's just unbelievable how fast uh, our customers are getting value from AI. And that's because we built it in, not bolted it on. So we decided that uh, this was the moment. This was the once in a generational moment and decided actually not that long ago yeah. to, to rename uh, this, this entire conference to, uh, to AI World. And uh, as we hear from our customers throughout the event here today, we're going to hear so many, and, and, and for the coming days, we're gonna hear so many great success stories about the value they're actually getting from AI. Uh, so quickly, again, nothing, there, we've not seen anything like this before. Not, not at this speed and this scale, just amazing. Yeah. Well, Mike, we've been talking about AI for a while now, though. So what makes AI's power real now for business leaders? Yeah. Well, I think what makes it real right now for business leaders is actually this, this special, the, the special ingredient that we bring to it, and that is the data. Right. So for many, many years, uh, Oracle has been the custodian of the world's most valuable data. Whether that's back office data, that's edge, it's edge data, uh, it's bespoke workloads, it's uh, it's it's front of the house like uh, CX data. This is the data that matters to AI. So if you think about how AI has evolved, it's largely evolved from models training on the public internet and reading everything that's available on the public internet, and that's terrific because it's made them conversant, uh, it's made them able to understand human language, and it's made them actually even under to be able to reason, to be able to make decisions like human beings would make decisions. What it doesn't have is all that private data. What it doesn't have access to is all that private data. What we bring together is access to enterprise data, private data, along with the very best frontier models or large language models in the world. And that ingredient is different than anybody else on the planet. There's, there's no other company in the world that is bringing all of that together. And that's why I think this moment hmm. is, uh, is so special because in order to take advantage of that, our customers don't have to go through some major project or some major implementation. It's just built into what we do. We don't have a non-AI version mm -hmm. of the Oracle database. We don't have a non-AI version of our applications. It's just built into what we do. It's so easy for customers to, uh, to take advantage of that at scale. And that's really, that, that really is my next question because it's, we are in an AI race and we have built it into everything. And that's our dif differentiator, right? Absolutely. Well, uh, case in point, we have 2,400 plus customers already live on some combination of fusion applications and industry applications, AI features, AI agents, wow. already live, already getting value from it today. And we're still in early days. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's, that's exciting. That's the yeah. exciting part. Um, well, you've led through many of these technology ways that you, that you talked about. Um, what do you think makes leading through an AI era unique? Well, I think it's I think it's really fun, actually. I don't think about <laughs> uh, some of the other technology waves, and there was a, there was a organizational pain, if you will, or organizational uh, you know major investments that needed to happen to adopt that new technology. So, if you move from client server to cloud or internet to cloud, rather, there was a, there was a major implementation or a major project that had to be done. Once you've gotten to the Oracle cloud. Once you've arrived there, which we have you know, so many customers who've done that, uh, what makes this really fun is, is, is the time to value and the time to ROI. You know, we've spoken uh, about so many different industries. One of the best examples I think we have is, is healthcare. And why is it so interesting? Well, the age of the technology in healthcare that's mm -hmm. running hospital systems today is very old. Not unusual to see 10-year-old uh, systems, not at all rare to see 20-year-old systems or 25-year-old systems. We have customers, over 250 of them, that went live in a matter of three weeks with the new IA agents. That was the longest, took three weeks. Some of them, some of them even less than a week. 250 customers live. And so, so it's really fun. Yeah. It's really fun to be able to go in and talk with a customer and say, we think you can get value from this in a matter of a couple of weeks. Would you, like, would you like to try it? All right. And I think there's a sense of urgency too. Like, you know, we're missing out on not just the goodness of the technology, but the outcomes Absolutely. you mentioned. Yeah. The sense of urgency is because we're solving real problems. Mm -hmm. and, and, and when you can grasp 
uh, as an organization that this technology solves real problems and doesn't create a bunch of other technical problems as a side effect, uh, that urgency gets, uh, you know, it gets even more acute. Now, you're going to bring some heavy hitters to the stage tomorrow. Uh, Avis, Marriott, Exelon, BioFi. Maybe not a lot of people have heard of BioFi, but they're going to be blown away. And each are taking, each is taking a very different path with AI. What, what do you think ties their stories together? Well, what ties their stories together is data. Uh, so, so you're going to hear about their outcomes. You're going to hear from uh, their executive teams um, about the value that they're getting from AI. But equally important is the fact that they've actually leveraged the Oracle database. They've leveraged the Oracle AI data platform, and they're bringing all that data together and serving that data up together with some large language model, in this case, of, of, of their choice. Uh, we're going to see here, I think, some stunning stories. You mentioned BioFi. Uh, you may not have heard of BioFi, but I can assure you, you will not soon forget BioFi yeah. after they tell you uh, what they've been up to with AI. It's good for it's good for humanity, that not part. just good for their business, but it's good for humanity. Yes. Absolutely. I can't wait to talk about that more, too. But before we go, if you can give us a sneak peek, I'd love to know. And if you can share with us what you want people to feel when they walk away from your keynote. I want them to feel that AI is a force for good. Uh, I want them to feel that uh, the negativity that they hear. You know, and, 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 Anytime there's a new technology, there are always naysayers, right? There are always naysayers, always people that are negative. I actually want them to feel that uh, this is a force for good. Yeah. Uh, and it's good for, not just good for business results, but it's good for their employees. It's good for their customers. And uh, in, in the case of the one I just spoke about, uh, it's, it's, it's good for human beings in general. Um, I, would, uh, I would hope that that's what they take away. That's great. Well, thank you so much, Mike, for your time. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Always great to be here.